Welcome back to the final episode of Let's Play Captain Comic, and this is a bit of a strange one. We've seen the sequel, we've seen a total conversion, and now we've got a port. Specifically, an unlicensed port for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Unlicensed meaning that neither the game nor its developer were approved by Nintendo and they actually had to hack the machine. It seems like a lot of effort to go to to produce something like this. The gameplay is basically the same in theory. You even start with no weapon and have to collect a can of Blast Ola Cola just like the original. The enemies are a bit different, and credit where it's due, they look pretty good, especially some of the ones we'll see later. But the biggest difference is in how Comic controls. Movement in the original game is very precise. You can judge jumps and landings pretty much perfectly with a little bit of practice. In this game, Comic seems to slide around a bit, and hitting the ceiling really affects how you jump. It's a very different experience for such a subtle change. The backgrounds too are more detailed and interesting, which I actually don't like. As with Captain Comic 2, I find them distracting and often can't tell what's scenery and what's an obstacle. But the most obvious downgrade has to be Comic himself. Look at him, he's a red blob man! Enemy sprites have multiple colours, the backgrounds and obstacles look good, but the player character is hot garbage! I'm sure there's probably some technical limitation that explains why that had to be the case, but from a player's perspective it's just weird. Not to mention that the original game's clean, clear HUD has been replaced with this ugly mess at the top of the screen which you have to take your eyes off the fast-paced gameplay to look at, it's just bad design. I also don't like the fact that we're dealing with half height enemies right from the beginning. Maybe the corkscrew's not too far off, but I never found it. I kind of like how this level is recognisably the same as in the original, but it does raise the question for me of why. Was Captain Comics sufficiently successful as to have name recognition value for owners of an entirely different platform? One thing I will give it though is that the checkpoints are much more forgiving. You tend to lose much less progress to dying than in the original. On the other hand, this game seems harder, so maybe that balances out. I went the wrong way here, assuming that what worked in the original game would work here, but I think they actually decided it made more sense to give you the key right where you need it instead of tricking you, which, ironically, tricked me. So here we are in what you'll recognise as the computer level, which I know I don't want to be in, so we'll just be going. No escape from the backtracking, unfortunately. But we reach the seaside eventually. The colour scheme here is a little garish, but once again it's recognisably the same level as in the PC version. As with the previous level though, the enemies are new and improved. The Whirly Fireballs are my favourite, although the others are great too. And here's a thing, I don't know what prompted that, but I got some sort of power up. At first I thought it was the corkscrew, but that's not quite it. It does have that effect, but I can also shoot faster and more frequently, and rather to my surprise, I'm also invulnerable to damage. It's time limited, which is annoying, and disappears on level transitions, which is also annoying, and I know from my practice runs that it doesn't drop at a set location, but appears for some other reason. Reaching a certain score, perhaps? But as you can see, it doesn't last long. And one final thing I forgot to mention earlier, which you probably noticed, is the music. I guess it probably counts as a feature, but it's pretty grating unless you have the volume really low, and I'd as soon do without. I'm not too familiar with the NES or what games it had available, so I don't know how this one compares, but it's not terrible. I'm not likely to play any more of it, but that's because it's 2016, not 1989. As for this Let's Play, it's done. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it.